Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? Welcome back to another Hoopway video. In today's video, LeVar Ball has confirmed in a recent TMZ interview that LeAngelo Ball will, in fact, be playing in this year's NBA G League bubble. Now, we were all under the misunderstanding that LeAngelo went undrafted in this year's 2021 draft. But I guess that news was false and he is in fact going to be playing in this year's G League as confirmed by LeVar Ball. Now before I show you guys the interview clip, please make sure to subscribe, drop that like and turn on those post notifications. You guys have been going absolutely crazy. We're so close to 2,000 subscribers. So join the family now and subscribe. Drop that like. And with all that being said, I'm going to show you guys the interview. I'm really happy that LeVar said this and LeAngelo Ball is going to play in the bubble. Here's the clip. Let's move on to, to the middle son, LiAngelo, who yes. uh, reportedly is going to play in the G League in the bubble. Is that is that in fact what's going to happen coming up? Yeah, that, that should happen. That should happen. Like I said, he, he just needed just to play. And like I said, that, the boy could play the game. And he could play the game as far as putting that ball. Everything that they say my other two can't do, this one can do. He's been a scorer all his life. You put him in an NBA game, it's a wrap. But if you put him in one of his brothers, well, he's going to get 30, 40 points very easily. Cause he gonna run that lane every single time, and the boy can shoot that three ball. So it's not it's not hard for him to score a lot of points quick, and it's just him getting the opportunity. And like I told him before, when when you deviate off the path, which he did in China, uh, I get that. Now he has to get it. Like, dude, why do you think you're going through this difficult path? Cause you did something different, son. So now I'm gonna have all three of my sons go a different route to get to the NBA, but you're still gonna get to the NBA. My thing is this: even if you don't play in the G League. You have two brothers, and the weight of them. Tell me this: the scenario. This is one of the best scenarios I think that can happen. And, and say you give Lonzo a hundred and something million on his next contract, and he say, you know what? Out of the hundred million you give me, or the hundred and something you give me, give ten of it to Jello, ten of my money to Jello. Now you're getting two for one for free. T tell me it's not set up for that right now. Trade and get Lonzo. Now you got two, six, seven, six, eight guards in the backcourt and get Jello. You got dudes you ain't paying nothing. You got the chemistry is better. And it ain't like Jello. Jello is six, seven, 245 at the two guard or the three. He can play the two or the three. And they, they switch off so easily. And it's the chemistry getting rid of the ball so quick. The pace of the game is going to pick up. They can switch on any player. I'm talking about guards and stuff. You don't have to try to fight over these screens. Just We already got in our mind. Switch. You get him. You can guard him. He can't go around you. So it'd be the best case scenario. But these guys think because I'm saying it is the best. No, it is because it is. They're going to sell tickets. They're going to be the best show in the NBA. They all young. Guess what? Go get them. Even if you got to watch them one time, just watch the buzz. Charlotte Hornets was the same team it was last year, except you bring in one dude. And why are we, everybody talking about Charlotte Hornets? Because one of them ball boys is on there. Why are we talking about the bubble? Because one of the ball boys is going to the bubble. You got to look at Lonzo play no matter whether he do good or bad. You can't take your eyes off of him. So there you guys have it, man. LeVar Ball finally confirms that LiAngelo Ball will in fact be playing in the G League bubble. Now, I know it might be a little bit confusing as we all know that LiAngelo Ball signed a contract to play in the NBA G League bubble. Now, we weren't really sure if that means that it was a contract to be in the actual draft or it was a contract that he's going to be assigned to an NBA to, or sorry, to a G League team. That was a little unclear, but I think that it was a contract to be eventually assigned to a team. I don't think the contract was actually for the draft because there was a lot of other NBA players uh, who didn't even get drafted into the G League, which is kind of ridiculous. So I think that contract was actually to be assigned on a team. Uh, who knows? For all we know, he might actually be on a G League team right now, but it's just getting, it's just quiet. Nobody's talking about it right now because they don't want the hype. But uh, yeah, that's my opinion on this. I think that LiAngelo, uh, if he's not already on a team secretly, that he is going to be picked up by one of these teams, by one of these G League's teams in the bubble because... Uh, like I said, again, he's not the only one. There's other NBA veterans such as Lance Stevenson who also didn't get drafted into the bubble. You don't think that Lance Stevenson is better than some of these G League players? Of course he is. So I believe that LiAngelo Ball is in fact going to play in this year's bubble. Uh, you guys heard LeVar Ball himself say it, that we should see him playing in the bubble. I don't think LeVar Ball would cap to us like that. Uh, he seems like a more genuine dude. He doesn't seem the type to cap. I know he's capped, obviously, previous years, but he did say that... Um, after he said the first initial statement that LeVar, that LiAngelo's playing in the bubble, he did say that Whitey thinks everyone's going to watch the bubble because my, my middle ball brother, 
or sorry, my middle child is in there. So basically he's saying that all eyes are going to be on the bubble because Lee Angelo is going to play in it. Why would he say that? Uh, you guys can go back and rewind it, but he did say that. He said that why is everyone going to watch the bubble? It's because of Lee Angelo. So um, that's great news. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this. Obviously, we all thought that Lee Angelo went undrafted and he wasn't even going to play basketball uh, in the G League. We all thought he was going to go overseas or something, but I guess not anymore. Uh, it's either that he's already on a team secretly and it's just getting really kept quiet or it's going to be the fact that he's going to get picked up eventually by another G League team in the bubble. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section about this. Comment down below. Do you guys think that Leandro Ball is secretly on a G League team? Or do you guys think that he's going to get picked up? Do you guys think that LaVar's capping? I don't think he's capping again. Uh, this was a TMZ interview. So I don't think Leandro or LaVar Ball would cap to us like that. But... It's very interesting news uh, that just came out. It went very quiet. A lot of people aren't really talking about this, which is surprising. I think that more media outlets would talk about this, about Leangelo, uh, about LeVar Ball saying this. But I guess people uh, don't want to hear the real media news. But like I said again, man, Leangelo Ball confirmed to be playing in this year's G League bubble. As I, That's what we know by LeVar Ball, man. But this is going to end off the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this news. Uh, if you guys if you guys like content just like this, please make sure to subscribe, drop that like, and turn on those post notifications. I'm telling you guys, man, the grind is real. I'm dropping videos every day or every other day. Uh, we're gonna hit 2,000 subscribers soon, so don't so please make sure to subscribe so you don't want to miss uh, the hitting of 2,000 subscribers. But with all that being said, I know I've talked a lot this video. Uh, I'm just gonna stop the rambling. With all that being said, I'm out. Peace.